Hi everyone, I know it's been a long time since I did a vlog, but it's summertime now and I'm ready to upload some videos. So I wanted to go ahead and start today. I know I look a little bit, um, a little bit like a mess, but my son is taking a nap and I just finished doing a workout. Um, I wanted to show you today my new teacher planner and also a few little sneak peeks of some updates I'm going to be doing in my classroom. So hold on one second and I will show you all the fun things. Okay, I forgot that there were a few things I wanted to add before I went ahead and showed you the actual planner. First of all, I do not use this plan book as my end-all be-all plan book. What I use it mostly for is just kind of a jotting down of ideas. I like to sketch out a quick, um, a quick overview of what I want to do throughout the week, just in my handwriting just really fast, and then I actually take those plans and expand upon them and add links and add pictures in a Google Drive document that I use. Um, that way I can, I can access it at home, I can type a lot better than I can write, and I can really get to my products or things that I bought from TPT or things that I made myself that are on my Google Drive really, really quickly. So I don't, if I say adjective sort game and then I wanna use the same kind of plan for next year, the link is right there and I can click on it and I don't have to try to remember what that adjective sort game was. Um, so I really like that for that idea. So I'm gonna flip around and show you my planner for this year. Okay, so I am sure that you have seen these Create 365 Happy Planners before. Um, this one is the big version. You can see how big it is compared to my hand. I have some pen swatches here on my hand. I went to Hobby Lobby today. Um, this is the big version. They also have one that's specifically made for teachers. I chose not to get that one for a couple of reasons. Number one, I didn't like the cover, which I know you can replace, but number two, um, I don't necessarily need all those little spaces. I don't need that much room for my planner because like I said, it is just a quick sketch of my plans. Um, it is an 18 month planner, but I will be getting rid of some of the months that are in here because I won't be using them for school. So I'll quickly show you, first page has my name, so I'm gonna switch. So each month has a tab, a nice laminated tab here, and a little divider, and then it has a page that looks like this. So it has a before, during, and after month at a glance, then you've got a currently list for every single month, which I think is kind of fun. Important dates to remember. Birthdays, which I'll use for student birthdays. Monthly goals and other important dates to remember. So then once you flip over from the tab, you will see the July month at a glance. So I can write down any events that are going on for school. Um, things like that will go in here. So this will only be for school use, not for personal use. Just to kind of let you know. Now, the one of the really good things about this planner, if you don't know, is that these are rings that these pages can snap in and out, kind of like a binder. So they can be pulled out if you want them to. You can also buy this hole punch so that you can hole punch any papers that you want to stick right in here. So that's great for me because this has 18 months, like I said. I'm gonna keep July in here because I'm taking a July class um, for my master's degree. But once July is over, I'm actually gonna take July out and toss it. There are also more months in here that I don't need that go past May that I probably will get rid of as well, or at least store them during the school year so that this thing is a little bit lighter. So let me go ahead and flip to one of the weekly pages. And you'll see it has Monday, um, or yeah, Monday through Sunday across the top and then there are three sections. Now, the teacher planner has the days going down this way. There isn't a note section here. They go Monday through Friday this way and then the boxes are a little bit shorter and they go across. I don't think I need all these little tiny boxes to write in for each day though. I think it's enough for me to have like a language arts, a math, um, science and social studies to kind of do my quick sketch and then transfer to online like I talked about. So what I'm probably gonna do is use the Saturday, Sunday section. I'll probably do like a washi tape over here and have absences, uh, maybe reminders of important things I need to do, maybe a to-do list of some sort, um, just so I'm utilizing that space and not wasting it. Um, but I think that this is gonna be enough room for my quick sketch. Like I said, this is a big, big piece of paper and I don't really get too detailed in here. So that is what we have for every single month. Now, like I said, if you look at the planner itself, it is quite thick and it's actually quite heavy. So when I get rid of July, and then I'll also be getting rid of everything probably after May, because I'll have to get a new one obviously for next year. So this section here will all be coming out. 
making it a lot smaller. What I will be adding in, however, is the add-on pack for teachers, which has um, checklist papers that I'll use in my grade book. I'll probably add some um, note or records pages in the back. Um, but this is not going to be something that I am taking back and forth from school. It'll be sitting on my desk all the time. Um, it just, it, I won't be carrying this back and forth. Uh, I could if I wanted to, but I won't. So this is the back. It's got a nice thick laminated cover. So I think it's going to be really good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and swing over to ignore the mess on my table because, you know, it just is what it is. You can see a couple of things I've done here to add to my classroom this year. I got these two lamps, $5 for the two of them, and I painted them with chalk paint. And then I also painted this mirror back here with chalk paint as well. And I experimented with some coffee to kind of stain it a little bit darker. Um, I don't think I like that look as much as I like the, the regular look. So I probably will not be doing that with anything else. But these are going to be some things that go in my room. And I think they're going to look really cute. And there's my little piggy bank. My son's piggy bank looks like our puppy dog. So I hope you like this.